right, so I was hoping to get picked a little bit later so you guys would have had a little bit more to drink before I came up here. So uh, my story is a little bit different than a lot of the other warning signs we've had today. Uh, mine's going to be more a warning to all of you. Um, we all have those moments that we're in high school, and you sort of have those moments where you're like, oh, I could get a day out of class. This is going to be great. Uh, so I was given an opportunity back in my senior year. Uh, the dean of our students was also the driver's ed teacher, which seems completely random, but that's what he did as his teaching job. So he was the driver's ed teacher and approached me one day about a driving competition that was going to take place for three or four counties in our area. And I'm from a rural area up north of here, uh, so there's not a whole lot to do. And I thought, day out of school, and I happened to have a calculus test and an English paper due that day. So it was a big win. It was a Friday. I got three extra days to do whatever I needed to for the work. So it's all going great, and we're leaving after homeroom. So I'm going to school in the morning, pick up my friends like always, go through the normal routine. So on the way to the driving test, things are going great, except I wrecked my car on the way to school. Uh, so that's sort of a problem. This driving test was safe driver test. Uh, there was a written part that showed if you understood how to read signs, maintain a safe distance from other vehicles, which clearly I didn't get that lesson, and also understand the rules of the roadway. Now, my driver's ed instructor, the dean, the guy who's supposed to be setting the integrity for the school district, I call up the building and tell him, looks like I can't go to this competition, wrecked my car, have to drive it home to make sure that it doesn't need to get towed, make sure it's in somewhat decent shape. Well, he calls up me back and says, we just called the driver's test and we told them our bus broke down. So he lies to them so that I can go to the competition. Uh, his attitude was it was his last year doing this, he thought I had a shot at winning it, so he said, why not, we'll just wait for you, we'll make up an excuse. So I'm a little bit frazzled to say the least. I just crashed my car, uh, had to deal with that headache, had to deal with my parents and grandparents telling me that I need to be a little bit safer on the roadway. Uh, so I go up to the, road, to the driving test. First part, written part, that's not I'm not frazzled for. I understand the laws, even if I didn't abide by them. Uh, so I get to the second part, which is an obstacle course. Uh, the obstacle course, go through it, a little bit shaky. I'm a big guy, they put us in like the standard model, small Ford Focus, so my head's like this as I'm driving, <laughs> trying to see out the mirrors, it's not working too well. Uh, somehow, despite my best efforts, I end up first in the driving portion and second in the written portion. So I end up winning this driving competition. So I think the lesson to you guys is, a person who wrecks a car on his way to school uh, doesn't exactly show moral integrity with the school district he went to, since they lied for me, is the safest driver in a lot of areas. So when all of you guys are thinking about a couple of drinks, getting on the roadways, remember I'm going to be out there as well. And I'm a safe driver, so just keep that in mind on your way home. Thanks. Everybody.